Hi, everyone. This is Dave Leo with Keller Williams and Leo Realty Group. Uh, this morning, I just wanted to have a quick comment about uh, what exactly is waiving an appraisal. So when when someone says, you know, I, to, for me to get that house, I had to waive the appraisal, what does that actually mean? Uh, so to cut right to the chase of exactly what it means is, uh, is you are not actually waiving an appraisal. Very few circumstances would allow you or bank, you know, it's not your option as a buyer. Um, to just say, oh, I want to waive the appraisal because my realtor said I should. Um, so it is not your option typically as a buyer. Um, I think there are some circumstances where it could be, but in 95% in of the time, it's not an option. But when you as a buyer uh, write an offer on a house and then you say, um, I'm going to, here's, you know, this house is 300,000. We'll use some, make up some numbers. You have a $300,000 house and you say, I'm going to offer 340,000 on this house and I'm going to waive the appraisal. So what that means is if when your bank, not if, but when your bank comes out and does the appraisal on the house and the appraisal comes back at 320, okay, so you $300,000 house, you offered 340, but your appraisal comes back at 320 from your bank. What you are telling the seller is, I have $20,000 in my bank account to make up the difference in, in the event that there was any difference between the purchase price and the appraised price. Um, I actually had a realtor recently refer to it as, um, you know, that they had an offer that had, quote, appraisal gap coverage. I, you know, I mean, it, I guess it explains it really well. I don't know if I love the, the terminology or well, the message that it's sending, but, um, but basically that's what is going on. So that's what it, waiving the appraisal means. It's all it's saying is you are willing to make up the difference out of your pocket at your own expense, whatever the difference is between the bank's appraised value and the purchase price, should there be a discrepancy. Um, we don't often see a ton of discrepancies, but, I think with what everyone's doing right now, which is waiving all these things, um, I think we're we're going to see more of it. And you really need to protect yourself as a buyer. And you can't just go crazy because I think some people roll the dice where they say, oh, we'll waive the appraisal. And then when the reality hits in that they got to come up with twenty or thirty or forty thousand dollars out of their own pocket. I think sometimes that reality sets in. They're like, oh my God, now I, what do I do now? I don't really have this. I didn't think it was going to be a problem. And you can't do that because in the event that you decided this is too big of a gap, I didn't want to cover this or I didn't think it was going to turn out this way and you try to withdraw your offer, uh, you will lose your any deposits you put down on the house will will be be gone. You know, so you'll be forfeiting those deposits um, in a circumstance like that. Your top realtors, we have like, you know, little, not tricks, but we have some, you know, techniques that we use. So, you know, when it comes to waiving appraisals and there's different avenues within that terminology that you can do different things to make yourself more attractive. But, um, but the point of the video was to explain what exactly is waiving the appraisal and one last time what it is is if you're purchasing if the house is a three hundred thousand dollar house is listed for and you are uh offering three hundred and forty thousand dollars on it and your bank appraisal comes back at three hundred and twenty thousand you are saying you are going to make up that twenty thousand dollar difference between the appraised price and the purchase price out of your own pocket and any top realtor will most likely require that you show some form of proof of funds document um, it, showing that you have the financial capability to make up this difference in the event that they were to accept your offer. So that's what that means. Again, there's some techniques and strategies within that. Um, so if anyone has any questions, you're welcome to reach out. Um, you know, my email is daveleal at kw.com. My phone number is 508-223-7217. And uh, hopefully this little information was helpful. And um, keep an eye out for some more videos on some, some other things in regards to 
home inspections, waived home inspections, interest rates, the current market, uh, all those things. And if you have any suggestions on what we can talk about, please email me or text me a topic that you would like to know more about, and I'll be more than glad to throw a video up and uh, explain my knowledge of it. So look forward to speaking. Thanks. Bye.